everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn about capos for your guitar or your ukulele. So one of my subscribers asked me a really good question, and that was, what is the best capo for them? I mean, that's a really good question because there are a lot of different capos out there of different models, different makes, and also of different prices. You really don't know which one is best for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down what the different kinds of capos are, why are they different, why do they differ in price, and maybe perhaps you'll find the one that is best for you. Number one, the spring-loaded capo. A spring-loaded capo is designed for speed. It's super easy to put on and remove from your instrument, which is exactly why so many people like them. This allows you to use only one hand in order to operate it. It's just a basic clamp. One of the best benefits of the spring-loaded capo is that it has a simple design. It makes them pretty reliable and fast to place on your instrument. So the one major flaw that I find with these is that you can't adjust the pressure or the tension on these capos. There's only one kind of tension that it has <laughs> and it's, it can be really tight and it can pull your strings out of tune. That brings me to an adjustable tension spring-loaded capo, which is really nice. This is one by Diderio and I actually recommend this for my students that are a little younger that don't really have a lot of hand strength to maneuver a Kaiser capo. I do have some students where it's really difficult for them to just maneuver that really stiff capo. This is great. It has a spring right here. It's still um, a spring-loaded capo, but as you can see right here, this spring right here just allows it to be so much easier to manipulate. And then here you can twist and actually adjust the tension. I really love using this for my electric guitar. I rarely use capos for the electric guitar, but if I am going to use it for that instrument, I use this one because I can adjust the tension and it keeps my strings in tune as I play. Number two, the C-clamp capo. So C-clamp capos are recommended for serious use. So these devices are far more reliable and offer more consistent performance than a spring-loaded capo. What makes them so great is the ability to adjust the pressure exerted on the strings at all times. This is really important if you plan to perform live with your instrument because you want your instrument to stay in tune. So C-clamp capos are generally very durable. Chances are there is nothing you can do to a C-clamp capo that will break it. They'll cost a little bit more than a spring-loaded capo and it takes more time to put on your instrument and keep it in place. Now these are the guitar versions of these capos, but they do make ukulele versions. I haven't seen the ukulele version for this one, but I have seen a mandolin version. That'll work just as well. Now this is the G7 capo. It is beautiful. <laughs> it is expensive though. I mean, it depends upon if you want to pay between the $35 to $60 price tag. It depend depends upon where you buy it. But what you do is that you just take the capo, you put it on your instrument, and then you just gently push down and that's the amount of pressure that is going to be used to push down on your strings. And it will stay in tune. Comes with its own little case. And also, a part of the proceeds go to raising awareness to stop human trafficking. That is a, a subject that's very close to my heart. And if you want to do some humanitarian work while buying a capo, this may be the one for you. Number three is the toggle capo. And I don't see these a lot anymore. It's like a rubber band and the pencil hack that I tried in one of my videos. The pressure is usually consistent, but they have a tendency to come loose. So basically this is like the rubber band pencil trick that I tried in one of my um, videos. I'll leave that in the description box below, also all the cards above. And it's basically just a, a plastic or a metal bar and then you just take this plastic band and then you wrap it around your guitar. That was basically what capos were before there were any clamps that were invented for the capo. So I would say that this one, I don't really see that a lot anymore unless a student brings in a very old guitar with a very old case and then they hold up this little thing with this stick and a rubber band and they say, well, what, what is this? <laughs> it's like, that's an original capo, honey. So these are fine, they're cheap, they actually do hold the tuning pretty well, they are cumbersome to actually maneuver, and because rubber is a natural fiber, it does have a tendency to break down over time, so it's not going to last you as long as maybe another capo. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have a capo that you absolutely love, leave that in the comment section below. I really wanna know what kind of capo you have and how much you paid for it and how long it has lasted you. Actually, my first Kaiser capo that I bought for my guitar, I remember it, it was blue, I paid $20 for it, and I thought, oh my gosh, $20 for a capo. It lasted me for 11 years. After 11 years of use, it finally broke. So that's just some food for thought. 
I'll see you in the next one. Bye.